So if you want something sound really echoey like this and changing it to like this, I'll show you how in this video. So of course the easiest way of how you reduce any of the echo is to film in somewhere that's less hardwood, less sound. So the basic fundamentals of how sound goes is that wherever your voice projects, the sound is gonna be constantly bouncing everywhere. So what absorbs sound? Something that's like carpet. And another way of how you can improve the echo in your videos is having your audio clo closer to your talent. So as you can see right here, this is a lav mic, right? This being closer to your talent will reduce the And that's all I did, guys. That echo dramatically in comparison to if you remove the shotgun. So right now, the voice of, of my sound from my mouth is going through here, bouncing on the wall behind, bouncing on the wall here, then going back into the microphone. And there's gonna be a lot of echo. So how you fix that is I'm gonna to jump to Adobe Premiere right now and all you need to do is apply the D reverb effect. And you place that effect on and you put it in its linear path, that's the one that I use, and you play around with the different thresholds and that exactly is how you do removing any of the echo within your video. And another way on top of that is you can also use D noise and change the adjustments of that. So those are the two tool tools that you wanna use in Adobe Premiere, so using D reverb as well as D noise. But if you're still watching now, another way is you can use something like this setup. So this right here, right, is simply just a normal blanket, right, on essentially a coat rack, right? But let's see how this sounds now. As you can see now, I am using this shotgun mic with the sound behind me, the curtain behind me now. And this should absorb some of that sound and it's doing what those, when you buy those things on Amazon, like if you wanna check that out, I would actually purchase those, but it's to absorb the sound. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this behind the camera and you guys let me know how that sounds. So now guys, I did two different things. I moved the camera or the audio source closer to me as well as there is this make proof soundproof wall behind me and as you can see there it significantly reduces the echo as now the sound is being caught here with a blanket primarily and yes there is a little bit of the echo but even for me without using any post-production I can only tell that there is some sort of a difference between using this and just letting my sound bounce all over the room having your audio clo closer to your talent so as you can see right here, this is a lav mic. So now what I'm gonna do is in post-production is I'm gonna use the effect of this makeshift voiceover sound box that I just made here, in addition to the reverb and the noise. And now you'll see how this sounds. And for voiceover purposes. Hey guys, my name is Peter from Broke Visionary Collective and you are watching where I help you become a better content creator. Make sure to check all my links in the description below so you can be a better content creator as well. And last but not least, what you can do, don't really recommend it all the time, but if you're just looking just for sound, it looks kind of stupid, but you're gonna put the blanket on top of you and that way all the sound is being trapped within the blanket. This is gonna look really dumb. <laughs> but now, the sound should sound a lot better. And uh, for now guys, this is what it sounds like. Hey guys, my name is Peter from Broke Visionary Collective and you are watching BVCCO where we all start with nothing but you can always create something. And that is how it sounds if you completely want to make your own makeshift voiceover studio and your whole place is just an echoey mess like mine. So blanket it up, de-reverb and echo. And that's how you do it. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up, hit that, that notification bell and leave a comment below to let you guys let me know what you guys think. You're, you're watching Broke Vision and Collective where we all serve nothing, but you can always create something. And to give you all a comparison, that is without the blanket on top of me. See? Yeah.